Hello, welcome back to Retrotainment Recast. We are here with a um, a bonus episode, sort of, uh, to make up for our slightly late uploaded one. Good the job, week. Ted. You uh, had one job, Larry. Yeah, completely forgot about the dates. Uh, got a week off work, completely forgot about what day it was of the week. And then I was like, well, hang on, it's been the weekend now. Surely Thursday's passed. Where, where'd that Thursday go? Completely lost it. So The whole week went real quick, I'd say. Yeah, it did. So, unfortunately, <laughs> we missed uh, that day, but we're making up for it by giving you a second one here uh, on Halloween. Going with uh, here we go. my, my choice of film from last week, Scream. Uh, one of my favourite slashers. That's a brilliant. Look at that pumpkin. Look, look at that. Look at that vagina pumpkin. <laughs> you, wouldn't want that, you wouldn't want that hunting you down at night anyway. Now, can I just put out here, well. Carl, I've just seen Carl take some alcohol there. That If that's his excuse when he loses this... That is some bullshit excuse. Hey, listen, any uh, excuse I've, can be I've been, I've had, I've been drinking most of these episodes, so <laughs> that's not an excuse. <laughs> I, I don't blame you having to put up with me and Ted. Yeah, we're, we're a rough duo to put up with, to be fair. Right. Um, then again, Carl came up with this idea. Yeah, his mistake. <laughs> he's, re he's regretting it now. Um, yeah, obviously, same premise as always. We're going to act as if the film had never been made. It's been made for the first time today and we're using current actors and actresses as to who would go in here um, and yeah. as the reigning champion Carl will be going first Greg will be going second and then on the second character Greg will go first Carl will go second um, and so on and so forth so far so on and so forth there's seven characters that we are using for screen yes, there is. Um, as always with certain films we sometimes have uh, more characters that could be done but we just leave out because we can't do, we're not, you know, we're not being paid to cast the whole film. So we're not being paid at all, to be honest. So, <laughs> Unless someone wants to come to us with that idea that, that we someone like that casting. Start, if someone starts handing the cash to us, we'll take it. But for the moment, it's Man's just going to be the seven. you know, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be the, it's just going to be the seven here for the moment. Um, So if you boys want to take your customary pictures and just send them into the group yep. so we can make sure of, in no. case of any draw that I can verify your picks. Send yeah. them there. Three, two, one, there we go, sent in, and have phone them, down. Have them both there. Okay, so as I said, current reigning champion will go first. Um, that hurts you to say, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I've been cheated well, out of it twice, can I, you know. Can I just say, right, I recently re-watched uh, Death Proof, and if I had to watch that before doing the last episode, Carl, you would have lost, because I would have picked Kurt Perfect. Russell over uh, Pierce Brosnan. Watching yeah. him in Death Proof okay. as, uh, if, as okay. Stuntman Mike. If Carl hadn't been watching a lot of people eating chicken wings on online, he would have lost, yeah. lost that one as <laughs> well. Very you know? true. See, I feel very very, true. The, the universe is against me here. You know, it's cheating me out of it. <laughs> um, so obviously, we always keep the big one till the end. So obviously, Ghostface is last. <laughs> Sydney <laughs> will be the, the last one we're going to. So we'll start with, okay. we'll start with uh, our main police officer, Dewey. Uh, big do, <laughs> big Dewey. Um, so off you go, Carl. Who have you got as our big bad as police David, man? As David Darkest, the lovable, less yes, very flappable and very innocent cop. Yes. I, just thinking about it, you know, there's no more goofy and more suited to this than Michael Sarah. Bollocks! <laughs> big one, right out the gate from Carl. Right out uh, the gate. Michael Sarah, you know, I can just picture him in this role completely, even with the mustache. You know, it suits him perfectly. The, the mustache um, adds to him. Adds to him. Exactly. It definitely does. Um, and he actually suits this role perfectly because he is this flappable kind of character. Um, I think Michael Sarah would suit that perfectly. Fast is kid alive. Greg? <laughs> uh, I think you got by my reaction. I know who I went to. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just confirm that. Oh, you went, you went Michael Sarah as well. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. between him and Andy Samberg, <laughs> just because you keep talking about Brooklyn Nine Nine. But well, I can't. I couldn't have. I couldn't have honestly justified putting him in because I haven't seen it. Yeah. Well, I can tell you that had you gone with Andy Samberg, you would have lost because the first name <laughs> on my list when I did this was Dewey, and I was like Michael Sarah. <laughs> I thought I was. This is what I was saying to you there, just when we just. Uh, yeah, no, it See, was a d I, dead cert. If it, was, if it was Greg that was picking, that if it was Greg was the judge, I might have put more Todd into it and to think of who to go for. But because it's you, I was just like 100% Michael Sarah for this role. Yeah, I'm, Jack, I'm, a Jack big, Black. 
I'm a big <laughs> proponent of taking Michael Sarah into films regardless of it, whether he fits or not. But this, and, and it, it is something that I do but it, uh, jokingly yeah. say to you guys all the time, I'll just stick him in there, that'll work. But for this, this role, I, I genuinely think it actually he's fits. Perfect yeah. for this, yeah. He's he's just damn. I thought I thought it would have gotten that one straight up there. The two boys <laughs> top there onto a winner, but we're in a, a level pegging still. One all. May as well have not had that round. But that could work out for Kyle because you know Woo, now Greg needs to win. You know four out of these. Go no bothers. What's he on a tough one? <laughs> we'll go with um. So Greg, we'll go with you, and we'll go with. Stew for this one. Big stew. Yes. Matthew Matthew Littered. Yes. Yeah, be easily the best performance of his career. This is the hardest one for me. I'll tell oh, you no, uh, I I I'd say his his best performance has to be Shaggy. No, know? this this is far. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um th- this was the, the hell if I be, if, if if people remember Matthew Litter being Shaggy, then Stew and Scream. I, I remember him as Shaggy as well, to be fair. I think he did great as that role as well. Oh, but, he was yeah, great, this is, but this, this is, is his best role. role. This is it. this was the hardest one for me to recast. I think this is the one I struggled with most because I just couldn't look past him as this role. Yeah, I'm gonna. I recast him today. About an hour ago, I chose. Oh, well, let's, see, <laughs> let's see who Greg went with first. Anyway, uh, I went with a, a pick that I've used before, and I went with that Craig Montgomery. Yeah, uh, Stranger Things. Carl, yeah. you better not have recast him. I have a bad no, feeling that that's what Carl's gonna do. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, I've only used one person from Stranger Things. Okay, and that's not for this role. For Dak Gray, or sorry, for Matthew Lillard's character in Stewart, I went with Dylan Arnold. Yeah, um, yeah, he's been in the latest two Halloween oh, films. Yeah. He's, al- he's also in You. If you've been watching You on Netflix, I have watched um, You, but yeah. I do know him from the he, Halloween he's, films. He's, he's in the latest You, and he's a much bigger character than he is in the, in the Halloween films, so you can see his acting range in it. Mm. Um, I think he is the more friendly of face than Dakry Montgomery. And if Dakry, if you had chosen Dakry Montgomery for the Billy character, I'd be more inclined to go with that. But because he can, he's the kind of more innocent of the two, and that's uh, why I went for the more innocent, who? the more... To a certain extent, is it, he is. And to then to a, a sudden, certain extent, he, of course. Yes. But, like he, I mean, he's, he's, that, he's the happy-go-lucky guy for probably 30 minutes yeah. in this movie. And then you see him change. Every time he comes on the screen, he gets darker and darker and darker. He does. That's I could see the you know the, the happier guy in Dylan Ireland more than I could with Dakar. Yes. The, the way I always view this character is he's kind of... He's kind of... He's psychotic, but he's also the dopey, you know, best yeah. friend character as well. Like, he's not that intelligent. Exactly, he's yeah. kind of dopey. But when it gets to, you know, oh, he is the killer, you're like, yeah, I can see it in him. I can see it in him. Um, so when I was doing this, I actually thought of Cameron Monaghan, who I think yeah, would have done well show. for this. Yeah, kind of has good that, He has that crazy aura to him, I suppose, is how you would put it best. Um that's actually a really good show. Yeah. The thing with Dak Ray is I haven't seen him in anything except Stranger Things, right? And he's kind of just a dick, but he's the big, you know, the big bad in that as well. You know, like he's super confident yes. in himself, uh, you know, and everyone's intimidated by him. I don't know if you're really intimidated by, you know, you just kind of think, you kind of think of Stu is just like, that lad's not going to do anything to me. He's kind of an idiot. Yeah, he's more likely to hurt himself than he is to hurt me. I just, exactly. I just, I just can't picture the change where he goes into pure psycho from, uh, yeah, from Dylan Arnold. Oh. Yeah, it, that's it the thing. Tough. Like you think on the set of Scream, right? Matthew Lillard had to be told to to tone it down. Yeah, like he got that much into it. So I mean, yeah. as I says, he's. He's happy go lucky and he's he's a bit of a stupid character for, but it's, for it's a minutes it's a, a shock a when you it's a shock for the re- for the reveal that it's him. No, but you can see it building in him from about half an hour in. Once the first on a rewatch. Happens, no, but even the first time you watch it. Like I, I like I was I was almost sure I'd seen this movie and I only watched it at the start of lockdown last year for the first time. Yeah, but everyone knows the end. Like it, this is the sort of film that everyone kind of already knew the ending for. Like, I knew, we're I so knew, used to it. I knew there was two killers. Yeah. I just didn't know who they were. 
Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you know I mean, um, like you can you can see a build in him from the time of around when do you know when you meet Fred the janitor. Yeah, uh, when Henry Winkler introduced Fred the janitor, and it's just Freddy Krueger as a janitor. Well, yeah. it's actually Wes, it's Wes Craven as a janitor dressed up as Freddy Krueger, and it's like from then on, you can see every time Matthew Lillard comes on the screen, the eyes are getting a little bit thinner. They do. They get a bit crazier, which is why I I thought of. Uh, Cameron Monaghan I thought he that's would a, do that That's an absolute well. show um, God um, This one's tough for me Because I've actually used uh, Dylan Arnold Somewhere else For a different right, character okay. Which is what makes this quite tough um, right. So it would kind of throw off What I would have put it as But I can't really judge it off that either I don't think um, That Grey works for this I think he's too much Like I haven't seen him in anything other than Stranger Things and in Stranger Things, he's the super hyper confident kind of guy. I think he would have been very good as um, Billy. As Billy, I think he would have been a really good Billy. Um, so I, I'm going to give that one to Carl. Um, but I, I think I have a bad feeling that Carl's going to have used <laughs> him as Billy. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> so that could that could bode uh, bode well uh, badly for you, Greg. But um. We'll call it 2-1 there, so back to Carl. Um, <laughs> Sweating that one of us. <laughs> we'll go with Randy for the next one Randy. then, Carl. Another kind of okay. slightly minor character in this one, to be honest. This is this uh, this but, whole film uh, hinges off him. It does, it hinges all, off him, but in the actual film, he's kind of... Yeah. It's all kind of nerdy character. Yes. Mm. Yeah, Jamie Kennedy. I went with Joe Carey. This is my Stranger Things pick. Joe Carey. Mm. Um, I think he'd suit his role down to the ground, especially the way Jamie Ke- uh, Jamie Kennedy plays the role. Um, I can just see him doing it, to be honest. <laughs> I can see him in exactly the same positions doing that, doing this role. I like yeah. Joe Carey. Yeah, no, you know, I, like he's had, I think he's very good he has that, Stranger Things. He has that innocent, the innocentness about him that Jamie Kennedy has as well. And then you can also see him, he plays kind of an early character in any way in Stranger Things even though he tries not to be a nerd. It's funny because in Strange Things, he goes from being kind of the the kind of popular he, guy in school. Yes. And then you realize yeah. like, this guy is just super nerdy and kind of a, exactly. bit, of a, a bit of a like dork sort of thing. Um, exactly, yeah. Yeah, no, he, he is. He, that's, a, that's a good shout there. So, Greg? Uh, I went with... I went, I went back to a, a horror movie and I went with Jack Dylan Grazier. Who played Eddie in the new Eighth? Yes, very good. Uh, I think he is perfect. Oh, you've used him in something before, haven't you? No, you used him against me. I think I used him before. <laughs> Did I? I? Yeah, oh, no, it was Ted. It was, I, I, it was I yourself, used, Ted. Yeah, I yeah. used him before. Um, yeah, I think his portrayal of uh, Eddie in the Eighth was one of the best things about the the remake. Yeah, I think he's very. Yeah, uh, he was very good in it, and he played that role of kind of the. The, the wheezy, nerdy, nerdy, yeah, sickly he, he, child. He does that very, very well. Yeah, he, he is does. very good. Um, so for this one, this is the one that I actually had Dylan Ar- Arnold down for. Okay, yeah, that's I thought Dylan yeah, Arnold. Would have been, I thought Dylan Arnold would have been very good for this one. Um, I also, for a while, I was kind of thinking, and this is a. This was kind of the problem of one of the things I sent to Greg prior to this as well. Uh, I just watched the Scream TV series there recently. Okay, I still haven't, I still haven't watched that. <laughs> uh, it's it's very very good, and the character who plays the one most similar to this is done very well. It's uh, Noah Noah. Uh, he's called Noah Foster, and it's John Karma. Uh, or is it Karma or, or Karna? N A. He's very good at okay. this role. It was very hard for me to look past him because I actually was looking at him first ages and I was like, yeah, he's really good for that role. Can really, really him? good. Um, but I, d- I haven't seen him in anything else. And I was like, right, am I, only, okay. I was like, am I only thinking this because it's there in front of you? He's doing it in that. So I, I actually, I was like, I'm going to stray away from using any character that's in this because it's too easy for me to look at them and go, yeah, they'd fit that. Of course. Because I'm yeah, watching he's on, he's only, he's only credited that. with a few things. Um, and Yeah, he's, he's, very, he's, he's very good in that Scream series. It's just, I think... That's all he's been in. 
it's the only real thing that he's been in. He's been in, a, I think he has a couple of other things coming up. But yeah, there's a few movies coming out. Oh, he was in an, uh, an episode, never mind. It's only one episode of that Chicago Fire. Yeah. Um, yeah, you wouldn't really notice him from that. So I kind of was like, yeah, he's the one I'd go for. Um, but I then went with Dylan Arnold because I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to use anyone from that TV series. So, um, I still it's think... two good. It's two good choices here for Joe Carey and Jack Dylan Grazer. In fairness, it is. Yeah. Um, this is where it's going to slightly work against you. I didn't use him for this role, but I actually had uh, Joe Carey down for another. Really? <laughs> I didn't have. I had him down as a backup for another role, not my main one, but as a backup for a different role. So. That's right, it's okay. actually going to fall against you. I think that uh, Jack Donald Grazer would be brilliant in this role. I didn't even think of him, to be honest. Uh, only because I was only saying to you, remember I said I went back to watch... Rewatch those hits. Watch yeah. it with a with a point of view of yeah. not going in to hate it. Yeah. No, he, he is very good, and he would fit this role of the kind of... Uh, works in the, the local video shop. video shop, and he knows all the horror tropes. So I think that's a very solid choice. Like, so this this is a this is one of them movies like he's a minor part, but the whole film kind of hinges on him. Yeah, well, he tells them, you know, like yeah. if you do this, then this happens. If you do this, then this happens. Yeah, he is very very integral. Um, but a minor it's, role. It, it's a minor on screen role, but his importance is very yeah. very much there. So that brings us back to uh, to all then. Um, you do. Yeah, two all. Uh, we'll go with the next kind of minor character in Casey, and it's Casey. Uh, to... Is that Casey? Right? Casey. No, it is. Have... Drew, it's Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore's character is Casey. Who did you think we had? I thought we had the friend in. That is no Casey. Drew's Drew Barrymore's character at the start. I thought we had the friend. Oh, yeah. Who's the... Who's that the was you know the one that gets killed in the doorway. Yeah, is that not? Drew that's Barrymore's... not. That's not Drew Barrymore's character. No, Drew who's Barrymore's that? character is the one who's killed at the very start. Well, who's the one? Who's the friend? It's the friend then. Anyway, I always thought the best friend. Oh, no, I always hate him. Yeah. Is it? No. I always thought the I, best I, friend I, was Casey, but yeah, it's that one anyway. I know. I, I went with. I picked, picked someone for Drew Barrymore's character who literally got because they built up when they did all the advertisements for the film. They they advertised this as a Drew Barrymore film. Oh, boss! Oh. And then they, oh, and then they, 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 they kill her in the first ten minutes or five minutes, and then that's oh, it. really? See, I, yeah. I just, I just had naturally in my head, I'd kind of completely forgotten. I was like, yeah, no, it's you know, the friend, the, the friend, friend is played by a random person who she's killed in the dog door. Yeah, that's who I was thinking the whole time I was doing this. Carl, she's not that yeah, random. Play, to be honest. play the ball where it lies. She's not that random, to be honest. She was in. No, but like at that stage, it was just a random yeah. person. It was no Drew. Played Barrymore. by who? Play, played by who? It was Tatum uh, Riley, was it? Yeah. Rose McGowan's character. Yeah, Rose McGowan's yeah. character. Yeah. Because oh, that's a bit of a. Do you want? It's going to be kind of hard to leave you to try and think of someone there now, Carl. I don't know. Does it is? Um. Do you want to leave that character for a little bit, and then we'll come back to it, and you can have a bit of a think there, I suppose. Yeah, that's the only thing to do. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, move <laughs> what we'll on do then. is we'll go back to that one before. We did the uh, last one, yeah. So, right, we'll go with... We'll go with Randy then. Or, with sorry, with Billy. We, we just did Randy. We'll go with Billy then. Um, so, this it'll is, go to you, Greg, yeah. This is my second Stranger Things connection. I went with Joe Keery this time. Yeah, that's who I had as a, a backup. It was the, it's sorry. the only name that I had on the list. It's who I have as a backup, but it's not who I went with my main one. So, Carl's as a still backup. in with, yeah, Carl's still in here with a shout now, I think, oh depending on who he goes with. Uh, Jack Quaid. Or have you watched The Boys? Nope. Please tell me you watched The Boys. Not yet. He's the, he's the lead of The Boys. Is that not a... Uh, is that not... Oh, I do know. Yeah, Jack Quaid, sorry. It's from The Hunger Games. Yeah. Uh, no, when, when, the, I th is... when I think of the lead in The Boys, I actually Carl think Urban. Of... Of Carl Urban. Oh, you think Carl Urban? Okay, but he's... <laughs> you know what I mean. Like he, no, he. You're yeah, right. Yeah. He is the lead. Carl Urban is not the lead. Yeah. Of the boys. He, <laughs> is the well, he's the male lead, I suppose, because yeah. the female lead is obviously Star uh, Starlight. Um. Exactly. Yeah. Jack Quaid. I think he's. We've hmm. seen him that you know he has the kind of innocentness about him, but then kind of automatically he can turn yeah. on a dime and be an evil fuck. The one, the one thing and I will the... say is he's cast in the new one. Is he? Yeah. yeah, 
I didn't know that. <laughs> I, was, I, was only saying, I was only saying before we came on, I had a list of about five people that I had to change because uh, they're all casting the new one. Ah, balls. <laughs> that is a risk. <laughs> I didn't I actually mean, know that. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you genuinely don't know it, it means that you've cast yeah. who they think is going to be a really good... Hey. Yeah. Exactly, it's only well. good on me, so. <laughs> um, I went a little bit out, out on this one. Uh, it's a little bit old. The, the actor's a little bit older, but I think you would play that. Um, I I always kind of thought of uh, that character as the, you know, the pretty boy, um, popular kid in the school sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Did you go with Tanner Buchanan? I didn't, no. We've used it would him have been a good shout, actually. He wouldn't have been a bad show. I, I thought Tom Felton would have been quite good for that role. Uh, he would have played Draco, uh, Draco. Yeah, I think he, he would not, Is he not in his 30s or something? No. Eh, he is. He's, yeah, he might he's be a, a bit way too old a little bit. He's He might be a little bit old for the and role. Again, I don't know. When you look at him, he looks a lot older than everybody else. He's... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't think either of the other actors are... The, like this, the one problem I have with Scream is the time, the age that they are in it, they're not yeah. at all in it. Do you know what I mean? Like they're supposed to be in high school, but it's more of a college movie. Yeah. But I mean, like if you're thinking about like, don't you know, we're thinking of age, like Joe Keery is uh, 29 or 30 as well. Is he? Uh, so, the same with um, with uh, Quaid. They're is both- he actually? Yeah, they're both Jack Quaid is about thirty as well. They're both in and around their thirties, like. Oh jeez. So the, you know Tom Felton. I actually thought I actually thought he was only in his early twenties. No, so like Tom Felton, yes, he's a little bit older. I think he's in his mid thirties rather than is late twenties, early thirties. Harry Potter, though. Not really, but I think he I think he would have fit the role yeah, either he's, way. He's gonna he's done some such stuff on stage and he's in the first Planet of the Apes movie as well. Yeah, I I think he's I a good actor. That, like yeah. I think I think he would have fit that role relatively well. Um I didn't even think of Jack Quaid though. Uh well, I didn't I didn't like the Hunger Games, so I only, but, I remember him from Rampage. Was he, he in Rampage? Hunger Games? Yeah, he was, was in Marvel. Games? Jeez, I, 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 I genuinely would think of him from The Boys, to be honest. I know you yeah. said he's, it, yeah. he's very good in The Boys. I would have thought of him from there. That's the first thing I thought of when Carl said it. Um, oh, it's so hard because he is cast in the, the new one, which is I've always got, the difficult. I've got screwed out of it on this before. <laughs> yeah, this is always the difficult bit when, you know, there is a film of this coming I don't, up. I've done my homework on this one. Yeah, it's a hard one, Greg. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'll call it shenanigans. <laughs> See the thing is, I I didn't think of Jack Quaid at all. I I knew he was in the upcoming Scream, which I think probably did veer me away from thinking of him myself. I I, I can honestly put my hands up. I had absolutely no idea that. He was I don't him. believe him. He yeah. knows fucking. <laughs> you do tend to know more about that stuff than us. I I, I do think... I do, but I mean I I'm not lying about it. I genuinely oh, have no idea. I th- I think the thing I think the fact that I did have Joe Keery down as a backup for Billy. Is the is what the hair, isn't it? (laughs) It's not even the hair. It's the it's the fact that he went from being the you know the cool guy and then he turned. Now he doesn't turn into you know this psychotic killer, but I think he had the act. I felt he had the acting range to be able. I think think he's gonna go on. I think he's gonna go on to be a a good actor now. And then well, I'm 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 surprised he hasn't. I haven't seen him in anything. I'd say I'd say he's in productions around. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised I haven't seen him in much else. Maybe he's just. Uh, okay. Gary. Yeah. Uh, he's still tied up in Stranger Things. Still yeah, I know, tied but that, up in that. That's what I mean. I'm surprised I haven't seen him in anything else. Yeah. No, but I'm surprised that. he's not in a post production somewhere or one that's just. Yeah, that's true. Movie. Yeah. So I don't know, but I'm going to go with him because I had him as a, a backup fair. on mine. Uh, you I can, didn't you think can, of Jack Quaid, but be, I think I You can confirm this. Him. You can confirm this, Ted. Um, if you look if you look on, the, on what I sent in, up until an hour ago, I had Joe Carey down yeah, as I can see this it. role. Yeah, Joe <laughs> and, had, down. and you, you made Quaid the old switcheroo. I yeah. did, and I had Jack Quaid as Stewart, but I switched in for Dylan Arnold. <laughs> yeah. Which is very unfortunate because I had Dylan Arnold. Very there. unfortunate. If you just kept what you had. Is he, is he yeah. the guy that played uh, the, the character in Star Wars, The Fallen Jedi, or The Fall? Who, Dil- Dylan Dil- Arnold? No, that's Cameron no. Monaghan. Or Cameron Monaghan is, sorry, yeah. yeah. No, Dylan Monaghan is the guy, or uh, Dylan thing is, uh, he's the one in the new Halloween films. He's the... Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't, the boyfriend, I suppose. The boyfriend, yeah, yeah. Have like, you seen the new Halloween? Or you have seen the new Halloween? Well, I'm not going to give any spoilers Halloween, yeah. on it, yeah. but yeah, like yeah. he's the boyfriend. He's the boyfriend, how, yeah. But I mean, he's in it for a How good was um, Brian from uh, Breakfast Club in the new Halloween? He's very good. In the new Halloween? Yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say there's very many good performances in that movie at all. I know he I... wasn't good in it. <laughs> fucking Greer. Yeah, well, you just don't like her. No. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we'll go with uh, the next one. We, we can go. We can move on to your one there if you want. Are you, are you happy to go with that one, Carl, or do you want me to leave it for another? Bit? Yeah, yeah. No, I have my pick. I have my pick. Okay, well, we we'll go with whatever her name is. I Tatum. thought it was Casey. Uh, I think that's Tatum. Or... Tatum it's Tatum, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever her name is. I just, I just naturally assumed that's who we were doing. I didn't even think yeah. to look up who did them. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, it was so... originally, originally played by Rose McGowan. She went yeah. off the deep end. <laughs> yeah, she went to do. She did Charmed after this a yeah, couple that's years what I was later. Say. She, she, done, she did she done go Death yeah. Proof, and then she done a lot say, of work with Robert Rodriguez. And... Charmed was yeah. huge at its time, so I was gonna say like that's yeah. what I was kind of saying. Like she didn't. She was wasn't Planet, Planet Terror. That was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. My pick here, there. my pick here. She's known mainly, and I, you probably haven't seen her in things. Um, I hope you have, but um, my pick here is because she is a star on the rising, and it's not a big role, so it'd be a jump from TV to movies. Yeah. Um, but she do the role very well as Karen and Shipka. Um, Hi. she is the lead role in the Sabrina TV show on Netflix. She's also, okay. she's also in Mad Men, and yeah. she was also my pick. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Let me just... I'll just have to confirm that on Greg's bit here. Hang on. Uh, I, I may have spelled can't... it wrong, but... Uh, where is she? Fourth one down. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, does. He has Jesus Christ. <laughs> Great uh, minds, man. Jesus Christ. I only watched I only watched one episode of uh, Sabrina. I didn't really get into it. Uh, Zoe, yeah. Zoe really enjoyed it. I didn't watch it either. I didn't uh, watch I watched when Tina was watching it, I was coming in and watching little bits and I just I they, saw an advertisement that she was going into Riverdale, so I was just like didn't All right, her. That's actually a really, really good shout there. Um yeah. to be honest. I didn't even think of her. I did watch the whole first series of that. Because I kept yeah. telling myself, uh, you know, they have to build the characters. They have to build the characters. It's going to get better. It's yeah. going to get better. And it kind of didn't really. Um, it's not what are, are you it's, drinking? It's not awful, but I mean, that you, you aren't missing out on too much by not what, watching yeah. it. Is it? Yeah. Um, uh, so, we, so we really enjoyed it now, but... I, it's okay. Like, it's okay. It's just nothing... It really know. wasn't what I expected it to be. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> I went with someone else for that. I didn't even think of her, as I said. Um, obviously, it's a draw since the two of you have both gone for it. But uh, I went to uh, Anna Taylor Joy. Yeah. Or Anya. Yeah, Anya. Anya? Yeah. Anya Taylor Joy, yeah. Anya Taylor Joy. I think she'd, she'd have been a Good deadly actress. one for this. Uh, yeah. um, Out of interest, just off the top of your mind, if you were going for a Casey character. Didn't even uh, obviously, this, obviously, this doesn't count to the scores. Margot yeah. Robbie. So just off the, off the <laughs> Winner. I. <laughs> Maya Hawk. I, I went with someone that, again, it plays Which into a, an additional uh, Halloween trope or horror movie trope. Yeah. You know, so I, I went with Zendaya. <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> you did. The, I've seen that there when I was looking at your picks. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you can build it again. You promote the movie that like she's the big star in it. And then big shock, she gets killed real, off in five minutes. And the a, big... The horror trope, you kill the black yeah. person no, first. I, I it's, it's, that, it's, the, it's the meta thing. In the, I feel well, no, very hard. That's, that's not the horror trope. The black person doesn't always die first. They uh, just always yeah. die. They just always die. Um, <laughs> I feel quite bad for you, Carl, because you came up with that very yeah. quick on the spot and you just happened to pick the exact same person Greg did. That's, yeah. I'm actually annoyed. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's What's a quality. Four is that? Is that 4-2? No, four I think three. it's... A 4-3. 4-3. Yeah. Um, he's fairly Max tight. Point. Uh, well, it could be. If we'll you see. win this, we have two well, two characters to go. It's ma- it's, it would be match point. It is match point, yeah. I yeah. get to five, yeah. Yeah, well, do you know what I mean? Like, you could lose this one and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ...down to the finals. So, obviously, we'll have to go with Gail because we'll have to keep our big yes. one until the end. So, uh, Gail, who is obviously Courtney Cox, um, the reporter in this one. 
So, Greg? Uh, I had a tough choice here. I struggled for a little while. You know, the same name keeps popping around, Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie, because I cast Margot her. Robbie in everything. No, she I will not stop every, putting her in everything. She can't be all the female roles in the same film. <laughs> it doesn't have to be just the female roles. She could be the male roles. Um, no, I went with Emily Blunt. James Blunt. <laughs> yeah. I went with Emily Blunt um, from Quiet Place, obviously, with John Krasinski. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she has that little bit of an attitude that Courtney Cox has. She's probably a better actor than Courtney Cox is. Oh, she definitely is. <laughs> Actually, no, I rephrased that. She's definitely a better actor than Courtney Cox is. Um, yeah, she wouldn't be a bad shout. My objection to Emily Blunt there is that Courtney Cox's character, she's the new reporter. And she's um, kind of, she's not too experienced on the job. So I was going to still work at a news station and not get promoted until. You know, I, think, yeah, I, think, I think I know where Kyle is going here. It's the age thing. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of the little. Yeah. Because Courtney she kinda, Cox was what twenty eight or something when she made this. Yeah, well, you have to. You have to remember that, like Dewey is um, the older brother of one of the of the best friend of uh, the best friend, and like she she's like constantly flirting with him, but he's, he's meant to yeah. have been just kind of a bit older than them as well, which is, yeah. might be what hurts you here. Well, on well this one. let's say Michael Kerr is what? 30 odd. Yeah. But Michael Kerr looks yeah. about eight. Grade. He looks like a child. Um, but Actually, my choice too. here, my choice here was Billy Lord. Carrie Fisher's daughter. She was actually in Star Wars. She's been in Scream Queens. She's been. She's done a couple of things. She has a history in horror stuff as well, which is plays into the meta stuff for Scream. Um, and she, you she, know what's bad? she could when play I, that. When I, when I type in Billy Lord, the first thing that comes up was a lad. I don't. <laughs> uh, I can't even. Who was she? I can't in even Star Wars? find her. Who is she in Star Wars? Um, yeah. She. She's only in the last three. Yeah, yeah. Um, I knew she was in the newest ones. Anyway, yeah, yeah. She she just said she doesn't. She's not a huge part in it, in it. Um, but she has a couple of lines there, mainly when Leia is around. To be honest, um, but yeah, no, she's a good actress. So like, she's been a, as I said, she's been like the Scream Queens and stuff. I'm trying to think. See, I, I, she's I, a regular. That was a that. great show. I've never seen uh, Scream Queens. I've never seen American Horror Story. There is another. Yeah, American Horror Story. I've never, as well. I've never seen that. So well. I'm trying to, th- I'm trying to think who she is. She's obviously a big enough character in Star Wars. If it's she's iconic, if she's in all three of them, she is. Yeah, uh, she's been in the. Just and she, she has a couple of lines. I think she was the one that announces that Leia's dead because they gave that to her kind of thing because it was her, mo- oh, her, right. her, her real life mother. Okay, you're right. I'm yeah, not sure okay. how you. I'm not sure how you can go off being a good actress if you've only a couple of lines over three movies. Well, sure. that's just in Star Wars, but she's yeah. See, the problem like, is I haven't seen her. If she's a, if I she's a, if she's I a series, anything. I didn't watch. If she's American a series, Horror if she's a series regular in the other in other shows, that's again linked yeah, to horror, I mean, which plays to the meta and yada yada yada. I mean, if she's been American Horror Story's been gone for years now, so if she's still exactly think, yeah, and if it's still going and she's still in it, that's some going, yeah. I suppose. Well, she's what she's. Twenty nine. Yeah, no, I don't know that age. Um, so it that again, that's that's another thing. Just comparing her to Emily Blunt, hands down, I'm not going to argue. Emily Blunt is the far superior actress. There is no the way age, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to argue that point. But for this role, Emily Blunt is too old for that role. That's uh, I was kind of feeling the same thing as well. Um, you see there now, lads. She's only what? Uh, she's seven. Yeah, she's twenty-six. Emily Blunt is, is she? Yeah, she t- she older than that, isn't she? I think she's nearly forty, Greg. Right? Eighty-three, thirty-seven. She is. Eighty-three would yeah. make a thirty-eight or thirty-nine, depending on the. When's her birthday? Oh well, they'd make a thirty-seven or thirty-eight. Sorry, yeah, yeah. depending on. But again, she's there's pre- certain movies October. where she looks a lot younger as well. And don't, let's let's be fair. We've cast women in men's roles in this. There's nothing to say that she we, we have, have to be a little bit older. But, yeah, but it's you know she still has to play that role of you know the flirtatious yeah. with. Uh, do not think she could do that. I think she could, but it would just be would it be seen as you know really creepy then, or would it still be seen as because uh, she kind of has a relationship with um, Dewey. Dewey? You know what I mean? Um, 
I also actually watched the scene some of it in uh, Wild Mountain Time, and yeah, I can't say I've seen her in anything except. Oh, um, I'll watch that anyway. Uh, the only thing I've seen her in is a quiet place and a quiet place too. I can't. Oh no, it. Emily. Emily Blunt's a fantastic actress. I've seen no, her she, in she, lots. She is but, very um, good. I'm just, Jungle Cruise. I didn't watch Jungle yeah. Cruise. It looks terrible. Uh, it's not. It's all right. It looks it's terrible. Right. So I said I'm not going to go see that. You went to see a car because you have a bloody cinema pass. I was like, I'm not paying to go see that. Well, that's true. <laughs> um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you now. Greg's Greg's missed a trick here because I actually think Margot Robbie would have been deadly for this role. <laughs> I could I just couldn't cast her again. I, I genuinely think she would have been deadly for this role, um, because she's she is still that quite bit young looking that I think she would have fit into that role very very well, um, right. And I think you know she's got that. You need to have a big name, and you know since we don't have Drew <laughs> Drew well, Barrymore's character here to be that big name, I think she's Courtney Cox wasn't that big of a name coming into this. No, Drew Barrymore was, but since we didn't ca- yeah. recast Drew Barrymore's character, we kind of have to use somebody. Uh, I think she would have been really good for it. And I don't know how you would feel about this one, but I don't know, because I haven't seen her do this sort of role, but I think Emma Watson could have... I think she's a very good actress. I think she could have done this quite well as well. I don't... I don't yeah, actually, I don't yeah. Myself. I've never seen her do... No, no, I can this, see that, yeah. I've never seen her do this type of role, um, like in a horror sort I of did. setting. I did. Um, not in a ho- horror sort of setting, but she kind of plays a reporter in The Circle. It was a Netflix or Amazon thing. Tom Hanks in it as well. No, it no. wasn't a very good film, but her performance wasn't bad. Yeah, I think I think she's really good. I think she would have been. That's who I went with. But I, Margot Robbie would have been my backup. I think I I would have Damn liked it. to see Emma Watson in this. Damn it! Um, that doesn't help <laughs> because now I need to pick between the other two. Yeah. Um, it's very hard because I don't really like Emily Blunt does that role. I think she's too. Like I think she's, she's very established kind of thing. She holds herself in a higher regard type thing. You've also just the, lost your big name though. True, but we've lost a big name, but like they're making this movie again. So that we're just because we're not recasting, it doesn't mean that it's not being recast. My worry see, my thing with Emily Blunt is that the only thing I've seen her in is uh, a Quiet Place and Quiet Place Two, and she's the mother in that. Rather than the you know young up and coming reporter, and that's, that's the she couldn't do it. But, but that's, that's the role she's playing. Yeah. That's that's the role that I have in my head for her. The problem. But with... Then again, she kind of takes Sydney under her wing as a mother kind of figure. Not really. She's a real dick to Sydney. Yeah, and then still keeps coming back and coming back and coming because she back. wants the st- yeah because she wants the story, not because she's nice to Sydney though. Yeah, she doesn't right give a shit. Her. No, she doesn't really. She doesn't give a shit about Sydney. She just cares about the story, really. I wouldn't give a shit about Sydney either. She's a dick. Um, the problem with Billy Lord is the only thing I've seen her in is Star Wars, and she's not overly memorable in that. But if she's been if she's been in a TV show for what nearly ten years now, but then again, that could be cast in one episode. No, no, no she's been she, more. She's, cre- she's no, credited. No, no, but as... That could be one episode per season or whatever. I don't know how that American Horror Story works. So. N- neither do I. I don't know much about it. But if she's been credited in it for this many years. But then that's... you're also you're also going off. You've gone off the premise that you don't cast people you don't you haven't seen. Not really. Like I, I you've said you've literally said that before. In certain aspects, but that's when I'm. But if a, if somebody is casting, I don't really agree with yeah, Emily Blunt. If the, if the casting is as off as the Emily Blunt one kind of thing, he'd prefer to go with somebody that he doesn't really know about than the casts. Yeah, Emily. I just I I look at Emily as more of the mother character and things at this point. Um, and I th- it is it I think it's just kind of the age, and I know we've said before that you can cast people as something younger. Uh. But I'm going to go with Billy Lord here. Um, Shenanigans. Just I don't really like Emily Blunt as that as that casting. I, if you'd stuck with your Margot Robbie formula, Greg, you'd have been sorted. Absolute shenanigans. Casting someone like, two, roles, two words in, in Star Wars. No, well, shenanigans. She's had other roles in stuff that's going on for years. So that gets us down to the last one. And it's yes, it does. The, the big one. Yes, it does. Sydney, and it's a uh, this. This is the, yeah. This is the big decider here. Nev Campbell's Sydney. Um, I've gone with a good actress 
for this role. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. She went on. Neve Campbell went on to get better, but it wasn't great in this. Yeah. Haley Steinfeld. Steinfeld. She, yeah, she's going to be in the new Hawkeye. She's been in the two pit, two pitch perfect, pitch perfect movies. She was in True oh, Grit. The the edge of seventeen. She was the lead in Bumblebee. Uh, um, that's what I know her from Bumblebee. Yeah, I don't even know who this person is, and I can't find her on. Her you know, she was one of the voices in uh, Into the Spider Verse. She was Gwen Stacy in Into the Spider Verse. I know it's only a voice acting, but it's still. Oh, I did like Gwen Stacy. In any the idea? Any idea on how to spell this name so I can see who she is? H A E H A I L E E, and then Steinfeld, which is Seinfeld, but with a T before the E in Seinfeld. <laughs> and she's also she's also doing the new Hawkeye series. She's going to be the one that's taking it over for Hawkeye in the MCU well, I can't judge her on that yet because of course her, but, but yeah. you know she's she's gotten that role for a reason um, at the edge of 17 people were saying that she was robbed of an Oscar nomination um, for the edge of 17 people were really, really annoyed that she didn't get a, a nom for that I haven't seen Which her that really... so, so far the only thing I've seen her in is Bumblebee Bumblebee <laughs> The problem is I can't remember anything about Bumblebee other than the <laughs> fact that I think it was probably my favourite Terminator film that, or uh, Transformers film and I'm like, wait. Oh yeah, it's definitely, much. <laughs> it's definitely definitely the best her. Transformers movie. I've only seen her in True Grit. Haven't even seen her in she's a kid. She's a, she's a kid in that. It's, she got, there was definitely some Oscar talk about her for around then as well. Uh, was it was, yeah. She got, no, she got nominated for best, um, she won it. No, she she got nominated for best supporting actress for True Grit. For True Grit, yeah. Uh, okay, well, who have you got, Greg? Uh, I went with Florence Pugh. Okay. Fight with my family and and uh, she's Black Widow, isn't she? She's the Black new sister. yeah. She's the new lead in Black Widow, yeah. Yeah. Just more so for her the way Paige was, because obviously everyone remembers yeah. Neve Campbell being the badass. But let's remember the first scream. She's far from a badass. Yeah, no, that is true. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Goes uh, into her own really, but really well towards the end. These two are literally the two hot ones at the moment. You know, it's it's dealer's choice. Whenever you, whenever you're sending sending out casting calls for a certain type of role, it's these two that are always at the top of the list. For, if it's the, that type of role, so they're very similar actresses in everything. I've never even heard. Uh, I've never even heard uh, of the other girl. No, I've, I've, I've seen I've seen her in True Grid, obviously, but I'd never wouldn't known her name. I wouldn't have known her by name, but when it was mentioned, yeah, I, I've seen her in a couple of things. Um, like she's a she is a really good. I like both of these. Honestly, they're both they both it's dealer's choice between the two of them. I like both actors. If I would find it insanely difficult to choose between these two, if I was in Ted's position. Yeah. Well, Carl is going to be kicking himself around here because Zendaya. this is the way Zendaya. you put Zendaya. This is where you put Zendaya. <laughs> I had, I had that's Zendaya. the first name I had. Bam, Zendaya, straight in there. Yeah. Well, actually, it's the second name because the first one I had was Michael Sayer. I was <laughs> but when I was doing Sydney, I was like, this is the role where you take Zendaya and you lash her in there. Um, I, uh, it was the one that I had and then... I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to keep putting her into things. You've never put her in anything. It's just Carla. Yeah. I have. I have. I've cast he's done it the cast. last. Oh, he's he? done it the last. <laughs> the last three times he's put her in something. No, <laughs> no, no. I just. Uh, I just foolish. figured I can't. I couldn't. Like she has that attitude, but I think she's more of an attitude than Neve Campbell did at the start of Scream. Now, if it was Scream Two, maybe perfect. Yeah, but I think she has the acting ability to oh, act more does. scared. Definitely and, does. Oh, she does, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Neve Campbell, was, Neve Campbell was terrible. Um, I wonder now, like, and obviously we can't retrospectively go back and do it, but had you known that you weren't casting, uh, that there's you were casting a, the best friend, do you think you would have kept Zendaya then and used Zendaya here, Carl? There's a distinct possibility, to be honest, because uh, yeah. I was I was looking for her in, in this movie. Um. And I thought the best suited role would be for that, but I was looking for her in this movie, so 
I don't know. I yeah. guess I, yeah. I, like, I obviously we can't really retrospectively do that. <laughs> we really should have said <laughs> what we were doing. I just naturally assumed we weren't. We were using the best. Well, we, we, an important. We role. said Casey. We said Casey. So I know. I, the Casey. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was just naturally like, yeah, the best friend. Yeah, it makes sense to stick her in there. It makes perfect sense to have her. Because you so know, I can call shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just... it's not my fault you didn't follow it. But actually, the, theoretically, I was I was wrong. You were wrong. The two of you were wrong. The two of us were wrong. Right? We were thinking, oh yeah, you'd use the best friend, not the person who dies right at the start of the film, but not the um, person we discussed. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, I do feel bad for you there, Carl, and I'm gonna feel even worse because I actually think Florence Pugh yeah. is is the one that would take this role over. Um, Hayley. Over Haley Steinfeld, like the only, uh, that could change if I went and saw more things that Haley Steinfeld was in. Yeah, but the only thing I've seen her in is Bumblebee. Uh, I think she uh, liked her in Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, but again, that's a voice acting role, so it's very hard to judge her sure. her uh, ability. And when I watch Hawkeye, I could change that completely again. Um, but sadly, I haven't seen a lot of the other things that she's been in, so I will have to go with. Uh, Florence Pugh here uh, and I feel a little bit bad because had we not I, I, given Carl listen, the wrong information at the start it could have gone differently but uh, I'm, that's still just... I'm still taking the W here but uh, I do I do take this one with a little bit of salt I'm still changing my name though <laughs> yeah well remember that Carl remember when you said the only thing I'll be saying is and still you'd be screaming be screaming yeah. well <laughs> that's it saying, Greg's, Greg's and... back New Greg's back. He's now a two-time <laughs> champion. Will he be able to hold it for more than the episode Wait. he wins it? Nope. <laughs> that's that's something we'll have to find out. But um, Carl, unfortunately, we have an interesting one, lads. We have an interesting one. Is, is it who? Batman and Robin too? Please Batman, be Batman and Robin. Too. Batman and Robin again. Yes. My streak. My streak has ended. The second. The, the second streak has ended. Unfortunately, and still um, not the longest reigning champion. Still not the longest reigning. Um, we have a. The second, second time new champion. Yeah. Our second time champion in Greg. Um, and he's going to be fighting over, lads, a 1987 classic. Oh. The Princess Bride. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd knock out that one, Carl. To be honest. You're the, uh, if anyone's ever watched the Sherlock reel, you're a big proponent of that uh, particular film. So I was wondering Thank when you. you'd... That one's going to uh... be... <laughs> There's got to be a certain role in that that's going to be very tough to redo, I think. Um, but it'll be interesting, and that'll be out uh, the week after this, I suppose. Uh, since this is coming out on Halloween, it'll be out the following Thursday. Uh, but until then... We'll see you soon. Good luck. <laughs>